Well, it's that time again where I go back and I review the songs of the month just gone and relive the highs and the lows. These are the top 5 hits and shits of March. Starting off with the shits, at number 5, Reconnected, One in a Million. I didn't know this at first, but Reconnected were auditionees and finalists in the fourth series of Britain's Got Talent, originally known as Connected. Immediately, a flood of memories came rushing back of a bunch of very mediocre kid singers who bombed every live performance they did. With this song, it just feels like they're trying to be a knockoff of the Wanted and One Direction combined. Everything about this song is so bland and mediocre that it's absent of anything that could make this song good. Number 4. Pitbull featuring Christina Aguilera feel this moment. Wanna guess what this song is about? If your answer is Pitbull boasting about how awesome he is, how rich he is and partying and throwing out random Spanish, congratulations. You've just listed the topic for every song Pitbull has ever done and ever will do because he's an unoriginal, talentless piece of shit. As for Aguilera, well, I guess you've got to try and make yourself relevant again somehow, right? Plus, Pitbull is nowhere near worthy of sampling AHA's Take Me On. Now, there's a song that I should have listened to rather than this crap. Number 3, Wiley featuring Chip, Reload. It shouldn't be a coincidence that Wiley is on the worst of the month list again. Another song about partying and pissing it up has been in the charts for what feels like an eternity. These kind of songs are a real cancer on the charts. They lack creativity, originality, and always come with the most annoying vocal delivery and worst generic dance club track. Number 2, Bridget Mendler, Ready or Not. I'd like to thank Bridget for including the lyrics from Ready or Not by the Fugees. Because of that, she reminds me that there are much better songs out there that I should be listening to rather than this. This Disney Channel wash up is clearly not marketed for the male market, but that won't excuse me from putting this song on this list. I'm comforted by the fact that she's been compared to Carly Rae Jepsen, which means she'll have this hit and then she'll just fade into obscurity and we'll never hear from her again. And the number one worst song of March? Paramore, now. Billboard.com described Hayley Williams' vocal in this track as a tone of defiant survival that would make the late Gloria Gaynor proud. Really? And the fact that not a single line of this song rhymes detracts away from the fact that this song sucks? A defiant tone does not make a great song. The rhythm is annoying, the instrumentation doesn't feel like it has any control, and Williams' vocals are just so insufferable. Well, those are the shits, now onto the hits. At number 5, the 1975, Chocolate. If there's a song out there that makes smoking weed and carrying guns sound more fun than chocolate by the 1975 do, I'd like to hear it. Indie slash alternative rock seems to be constantly popping out of the woodwork and the 1975 are a group that I really would like to see succeed. This song is a big ball of fun, highly addictive, great instrumentation and has very few rhymes. Yes, I like a song where it struggles to make words rhyme. I'm a hypocrite and it's only going to get worse from here on in. Number 4, Stereophonics, Indian Summer. I've already done a review of this song and that can be found in the description box so check that out to hear my opinion of the song. Number 3, K Coke featuring Rita Ora, Lay Down Your Weapons. Hey look people, a song that has an anti-gun message to it that spends two weeks in the charts. What a shock. I've never been a big fan of Rita Ora but once again she shows that she's so much better as a featured artist rather than a lead artist. She delivers a touching chorus whilst K Coke takes the reins in delivering a song that highlights the ugly side of what firearms are capable of. It's a really gritty and dark track and it's a reality check for all the listeners and it's really disheartening that something like this was on the top 40 for such a short time. Number 2, Jack Wobb featuring Mayday, Fade. Drum and bass sounds have been few and far between so far this year so it's a real relief to hear this. Not only is it a great song but the heartwarming vocals from Mayday combined with a minimal but effective instrumentation results in a track that is fun and lovable despite bleak lyrics which only add strength to this song. And from the looks of things, this song will only have a one week stint in the top 40. Ain't that always the way though. And the number one best song of March is Charlie Brown, On My Way. This song was probably the biggest surprise for me. A classic case of never judging a book by its cover. Charlie Brown on the surface looks like another Plan B ripoff, but On My Way is a beautiful, soulful little number that is very well written, brilliantly performed track that has good rhymes, very inspirational at times, and has a great instrumentation to boot. Definitely an artist to look out for in 2013.